She can't walk or talk on her own, but one of her works of art recently sold for more than $14,000. I want people to learn about love and freedom from my art. It's Felicia Bowers. She was diagnosed with cerebral palsy when she was just five years old. But she hasn't let that stop her from pursuing her dreams of being an artist. And now some high-tech tools are allowing her to create in a whole new way. At the Soul Studio in West Bloomfield, art and inspiration are around every corner. It's where you'll find Felicia Bowers hard at work. I was 13 years old when I first wanted to do art. She uses an eye gaze device called Toby to type out sentences with her eyes. It gives her a voice. I use my Toby and my eyes to talk. Sometimes when using my Toby, I take longer to respond. I love talking to new people. At Soul Studio, artists with special needs work with professional facilitators and volunteers. Felicia faced a lot of challenges. My body doesn't work very well. I can't control its movements. But the staff was determined. Friendship Circle's attitude is yes. We will figure it out. You want to be here, we will figure it out. And they started with uh, attaching like a Velcro to her foot and letting her paint. Then they tried a helmet and we tried to laser cut attachments to make it a little bit more sturdy for her head. But they wanted to do more. Now it must be seven months ago, we had a staff meeting and I turned to Adam. I said, Adam, Felicia has been here for a year and a half. We've got to figure out there must be something out there. She loves art. What could we do? They devised a way to use her Toby to allow her to draw. It's a painstaking process, a marriage of technology and teamwork. Felicia draws lines using her eyes while her partner adjusts the digital canvas. Give you a little more zoom. Let's go all the way up and bring it right down along there. That's going to give you that kind of shadow on the shoulder. Felicia's first drawing was this self-portrait, but it was another work that took her art to the next level. It's called The Dancer. I loved working on The Dancer because when I was little, I went to the Eagles Club and danced my heart out. At a charity auction, it sold for $14,500. The artists each make 40% of what they sell, but it's about more than the money. This is really teaching our community at large to stop judging by what we see and realize that every single person has huge potential and it's our responsibility to allow for that potential to come out. Sometimes people underestimate me. My art helps people understand me. I want people to learn about love and freedom from my art. My advice to other people facing challenges is to never give up. Just amazing, right? Yeah. Felicia has big plans for the future. She hopes to someday get married to her boyfriend and continue to pursue her art and, of course, sell more artwork. The Soul Studio just opened a new exhibit. It's a holiday gift show featuring the work of their artists. They're located in West Bloomfield. Perhaps a good place to find some very um, inspiring yeah. holiday gifts, Devin. There's so much to be impressed with there. The technology that allows her to do it, but her her artistic vision that she's bringing to life. And the teamwork that it and takes. Exactly. To all the volunteers that are there working yeah. on it. It's great stuff. Here's